So this alliance boy, alliance girl alliance. thing started yes. way back. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and also you are getting very good, very good guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's, a, there's a, lot of, a lot has changed. Eh? <laughs> a lot of change. Yeah. A lot of sickness came, came in later. Those days were just happy. Yeah. Wearing the scantiest clothes that you could wear. Yeah. And uh, we were, but we were happy constantly running around. And then um, we were keen yeah. on our studies. Yes. Even as early as those days, the primary schools, oh. with, uh, writings and things to read. Yeah. And. Um, we didn't have much to divert our attention to anything else. Yes. Yeah. So apart from going to the, the shamba mm. to weed, there were animals to keep. Yeah, very few. Very few. We did just a few goats and, and sheep. We didn't have many animals. Yes. Because the place was full of elephants. Even to start with, to start with, there were big animals around, so you couldn't. Yeah. Be. <laughs> so you lock everything <laughs> within the homestead. <laughs> Even even the farming, we had to farm as a community, as a group. Mm. Each family with his own land, his own small piece, uh, but you together so that you can protect your your your, your, your crop from wild animals. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you don't. It's a question of you going to have your own garden there. That's yes, somebody no. You yeah. go there as a group, and then each group, each family has got his own piece. But he will could not go into the hotels, mm. uh, the, the European hotels. So, as, so, as, so. as senior as a member of legislative yeah, assembly, yeah, 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 yeah. up to then there was still African, African. African. Mm. So, so after after from Maseno, mm. then we went to Alas. Yes. Eventually, in the long run, I got my PhD, and it took me hard work. So that was sheer drive. Yes. Um, hard work. Hard work. And knowing what you want, yeah, you yeah. must know what you want. Yeah. Fortunately, yeah. My, my 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 wife helped me with you. She was also devoted to her teaching. Yes. So we had to arrange things such that I could, I used to be in the lab till about eleven o'clock at night. Yes. In the morning, the whole day, uh, working for my program, T PhD programs until that time. Yeah. In the labs, and then she was. I had took the children to school. Yeah. When I was, because I used to leave by seven o'clock, I left to go to university. And then she had to bring the children from school while I was working until 10 o'clock. Mm. And that was our life. Yes. We went, we went through. Fortunately, we managed well. Yeah. We managed well. Yes. Life was still reasonable. You did. And I had to go to, I was some stage, I was able to get, to, we used to have two cars. Yes. So that she can bring the children in the afternoon from school. Mm. And I took them when I go in the morning. Like, yes. Because we are in different areas. Yeah. But discipline mm. and belief, belief in God yeah. and hard work yeah. and being fair and honesty yeah. and uh, you know, knowing what you want, what you like, what you want in life. Yes. You can't. You, I must say that in terms of as independence came, yeah. there was. Many people wanted me to join the political circles. Yes. I remember some group even published my mani manifesto <laughs> for one of the <laughs> from one of the from seats. Huh? Bay. Yeah. I just so they wanted you to run yeah, for office. Yeah, yeah. So I had distributed my my, <laughs> my manifesto. Yeah. And people were telling you, telling me, thank you very much. We received it. I said, you received <laughs> what? Your manifesto. But I'm not standing anyway. Who said yeah. that? Yeah. But I, <laughs> That's not what you wanted. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. But but I stuck to university work, yeah. And there you are. I was able to go through the system, yeah, and uh, be appointed to various positions, yes, right up to being the vice chancellor of my university, yeah, and then on to and being the I'm chancellor of technical yes, university of Mombasa. So, oh. yes. We don't look after our interests. Yeah, we have we have a water scheme here, yeah, which was. People alone, the water one, the one what we paint up, we build it up. Yes. One time it was water very big. Yeah. Through our own individual efforts. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So the government, with the 
donor money, we are able to put up a borehole here from Arewa, the health center and the, the community around. Yeah. The market and the community around. A lot of money, but yes. that thing is not uh, providing any water now. Mm. So I ask myself, but why? This time we have a national government, we have a county government, two governments, yes. which have a lot of money. Yes. And here is money which was spent by uh, outside organizations. Yeah. A lot of millions of shillings put in there. And we don't have water. And nobody seems to care. What is wrong with us? Why do we just keep quiet and let this thing happen like this way? Yeah? We're going to be telling stories that inspire the students, that inspire the young people, that inspire the society. And when you listen to this, um, our hope is that you'd be inspired to step up and do a little better. Learn from the history um, that has been and be able to do better for the society.